this time I'm going to use two of the molds and a quarter sheet cake. And I'm going to make another well, cut down the middle of your cake, and judge it cutting on a slant again. I have to make a complete oval this time. I'm holding that knife on a slant so it'll make a, a nice well. I need a foundation actually to hold that cake in place. I'm going to get a little icing in there so I can anchor the the molds into place. But first I do have to cut one of the other molds. I'll cut this in half. I'm going to make a bassinet this time. And I've already hollowed the top part out for the the hood of the bassinet. And I'm going to add icing to the side where the other cake will join. I may have to cut this off just a wee bit. Now I think that'll work out. And I need a straw here. And I'm going to anchor this. I think I'll come this way to join it. Just to hold it in place. Now I'm going to add more icing to the top. Across the top. small spatula, spreading it into the top of the hood. I'm going to do a lot of tube work on this bassinet. And I'm using a 32 star tube this time. It's easier to go into the hood and make little stars to fill in that part. It makes it a little fancier. And work all the stars alternating in between each star so you don't have any hollow places. This makes a nice baby shower cake. And the baby is not here yet, and so we're not going to put a baby into it, but there are babies available, little celluloid or plastic ones in the cake supply stores that you can put into the bassinet if you like. And then we'll add a pillow. We'll make a little zigzag on the edge of the pillow. And a little blanket over. And again, smoothing it. We'll be airbrushing this too again. So you can see how versatile the airbrush is. You can just use it for just about anything. Now I'm going to cut around to make an oval. 
some people say use the oval pan, but the oval pan is not large enough, so that's why you have to cut away. Leave about an inch around the bassinet. And we'll cut this away and remove it. Now, don't worry about this not being eaten. This is a carrot cake, and everybody loves carrot cake. So you can use any cake that you like. I do like to use um, something with body, either a pound cake or carrot cake or applesauce cake, and that sort of thing. All my crumbs away here. And again, with the cake icer, I'm going to have to fill this. Do have to get some icing on the base. At a later time, I'll be adding tuck and ruffle. Or you can use a lace piece. I like the tuck and ruffle because it's already ruffled. And you don't have to worry about that. Sorry about that. Now you don't have to worry too much about straightening this because this is all going to be covered up anyway. I'll just get the excess off here. This was a very popular cake when I was working in bakeries. This too makes a nice centerpiece. And it can be your dessert. I'm going to start at the top and use a number 10 this time. And we'll just use a, a kind of a zigzag and narrow it as I come down to the base. It'll have sort of a, a wicker effect. Now you can use basket weave if you like. In the tape we just don't have enough time to do a lot of things that we might like to do. So I'm just showing you an idea and then you can take your own imagination and make it as fancy as you like. I'm going to start on this side so perhaps you'll be able to see it better. Fill it in all the way to the bottom. And we'll turn it around here and start the same way on this side. Just a back and forth motion. And then at the end we'll color the whole thing with the airbrush. All the way down to the base. Fill in any little areas that you may have missed. And I'm using the same motion all the way around. I'm changing my tube to a number 10 again. You can start from the bottom if you like and get wider and wider. Narrow at the bottom, 
wider. Sometimes it's easier to start from the bottom, so I like to show both ways. So whichever is easiest for you. Back and forth. And if you could visualize this, you can make the same idea with three cupcakes. Use two for the base and one for the hood. And finish it off any way you like. So whatever you do large, you can always go individual or small. Now we'll just get the star tube. Number 18 this time. And I'm going to go over the hood. <coughs> And with a zigzag motion, I'm going to cover that right up. It's a very simple cake, but everyone really likes it. And we'll go around the edge. I can make a little edge. That's your little coverlet. And we're all set to add the tuck and ruffle. And we'll start at the back of the cake. And just pressing it to the edge. Just gently pressing it. And it makes a very, very fancy little cake. Taking the scissors and snipping it right off there. And then just touch it in together. And that comes together very nicely. Now I always like to add a little bit of a shell, or you can use a bead design. To cover up the seam of the tuck and ruffle. And we'll start from the back again and just do a little shell design. tiny shells this time. Now if you like, you can add flowers around the edge of the cake over on the corners, or you can add little flowers uh, around the hood of the cake. Just a little suggestion. We'll be ready now to do a little airbrushing again. A little crumb. And we'll make green for the base. comes together. Now perhaps some of you may not know about figure piping, but if you know anything about figure piping, it's nice to add little booties. Anything else to add to your baby shower theme. shadow here and there. And 
And we'll change our color now to yellow. Now you get kind of get tired of pink and blue all the time, so I like to vary it for baby shower cakes and have yellow occasionally. Yellow and green is a nice color. Any colors that blend. Pink and lavender is very pretty. Just brighten it up with your yellow. And I think we need a little greeting here, so I'm going to write with the airbrush. I'm just going to put baby on the blanket, and that will finish up our little bassinet. It's a different kind of a cake made with a doll cake mold. Here's a few more ideas. This one is a teepee, and I used the regular mold cake, and I trimmed it slightly to make it slanted. And then I added an ice cream cone and cut the tip off of it and used the skewer sticks. You can use pretzel sticks if you can get a hold of them. Then I just added a little uh, airbrush design and added the uh, plastic uh, totem pole and the little fire. Uh, the cactus is made on a stick. Place a tube that will go over the stick. Use a, a thin one. Pr place it right down over the stick and pull upward. And that forms your cactus and add your little arms of the cactus. Very simple to do but very effective. For the football, I made two mold cakes. Put icing on one and put it together. I anchored it together crisscross with two straws, one one direction and one the other. That anchors them together. Then I turned it to the bottom and trimmed off the bottom to make it straight so it doesn't roll. Then I covered the cake with stiff buttercream and then used a paper towel after it dried. I cover the other side of the cake, turning it up upward and continue icing the cake. Use a paper towel to make the impression of the leather. Then I used a straw for the seams. And using a, uh, the eraser part of a pencil, I pressed into each end. And for the string, I did the same. Using a number seven tube, I just made a string from one hole to the other. And there you have a nice football. For the witch, I made a, another mold cake. I added two cupcakes for the head. I adhered it with the straw. And then put two cupcakes where the knees would be. And then on the side, you can see where the foot is. I piped that in with icing. Then I ice the whole cake using a, a hot, wet brush, not dripping, but just dry, hot, wet brush, and smoothed out the icing for the head all the way down to the skirt. And then I made the ridges, uh, the folds in the dress with the brush. I made the hat with an ice cream cone with a cardboard in a circle. I added the arms with the number 10 tube, added the hands with a number 6, added the straw and piped the other hand over the straw. I used a number 4 for the broom, and I used a number 4 again for the hair. 
you pipe the face in as I did for the clown. And use your imagination. You can make it really witchy. Now for Santa, I used the same setup as the clown. And I, this time I used roll fondant on the base of the uh, covering. And it really is nice and smooth. I used an 18 star tube for the fur and a 14 for the whiskers. Other than that, use your own imagination. I used the chocolate shoes this time. And the, the mitts are made of roll fondant too, and then I airbrushed them green. All the color is by the airbrush. Now I'd like to draw your attention to the doll cake. This is what the pan was originally created for. You see, it's a perfect skirt. And of course, I used a little imagination and used other tubes to dress it up. And I have a little plastic doll here. It's just a, a bodice with a pick on it. And you just place that into your cake. I know you can make a lot more ideas to, such as I have. I've done at least 100 cakes, and I'm sure you could do 100 more. So try it. Everyone has a little bit of creativity in you. Just let it come out. This is Francis Kuyper, the Cake Lady. You have just seen Sit Up Shaped Cakes with Francis Kuyper, the Cake Lady. You may also wish to get the Cake Lady's other popular video instructional tapes entitled The Basics of Cake Decorating. The Cake Lady teaches you how easy it is to enter and excel in the satisfying, creative, and profitable world of cake decorating. Airbrush techniques, cakes, arts, and crafts. The Cake Lady brings new meaning and dimension to the art of cake decorating, utilizing the speed, ease, and versatility of the airbrush and cake crafting. The Cake Lady brings to life many fascinating international decorating techniques utilizing rolled fondant icing. You will learn that the beautiful, smooth surface of rolled fondant icing is perfect for embossing, airbrushing, and confectionery painting as you see the Cake Lady transform several cakes into works of art. Cake crafting, the art of decorating cakes without icing. That's the basics of cake decorating, airbrush techniques, cakes, arts and crafts, and cake crafting, decorating cakes without icing. Three more outstanding instructional videos now available from The Cake Lady.